I still don't really understand what happened. Neither do I. Tracy didn't say much. Oh, the girls might have something for us now. I'm just getting a chest drain inserted, so you should be able to see him shortly. Thank you very much. TK and Scotty have taken Ben for a CT scan. They should know something soon. That's Ben, isn't it? What's going on? Yvonne, he has a large intracerebral bleed. He needs an operation to take the pressure off his brain. Scotty's taking him up to theatre now. Chris, when did you get back? This time yesterday. Oh, I didn't know. I would have invited you to the barbecue. Oh, I'll have to tell you my camping stories another time. I need to go and see Ben. <laughs> What's he done to himself? He's unconscious, Yvonne. You can't see him. Scotty's taking him to theatre now. Was the team all set? Ready and waiting. They didn't bring you in specially, did they? I'm on call. Oh, I'm glad it's you. <laughs> I know he's going to be all right now, don't I? We'll do everything we can, I promise. Have you got a cigarette? I'd kill for one. I didn't know you smoked. <laughs> there are a lot of things we don't know about each other. Um, I think I got your sister. Oh, don't be like that. You're ruining the moment. Oh, I'm not one of your customers, Jane. I don't need the sweet talk. Is it that hard for you to believe that I'm actually attracted to you? Where's your self-esteem? I'm gonna need a lift. I thought you'll need that. Well, you can pat yourself on the back for that performance. That you were amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry. You were amazing, now give me $50,000. <laughs> right, I see. Back to business now, are we? Fine, if that's the way you want it. I can't give you 50. 45. 10% discount because the sex was so good. Mm. Are you really in a position to bargain? Are you? Flat on my back, naked? Yeah, best bargaining position I know. The way I see it, you got three options. I could call the cops right now. Or you could cut your losses and head back to Thailand empty handed. No, not an option. Or well, you could stick around a bit longer until we work out a deal. Is there any way you're getting anything out of me? some more I would have just had. <laughs> I'm sure we could factor that in. So really, it's option three or nothing. What do you say? Uh, it's looking good. Well, you'll be pleased to know we did get the tube in the right place. It's the problem with these sporty medical students. They're just waiting for you to make a mistake. Has been? Not great. He has a large subdural bleed and he's in surgery right now. Oh, man. It's all my fault. No, I don't think so, unless you were the one that gave him the whack on the head. I was being an idiot. I nicked a car park off a bunch of thugs and then told them to bring it on when they were getting all heavy about it. Well, in that case, they're totally justified in sticking a screwdriver into your chest, please. I gave him the finger. Maybe not the smartest move you could have made, but... Doesn't make it your fault. Sorry, buddy. I need to take an arterial blood gas. Sure. OK, people, we're against the clock here. I don't like the look of that scan. Should be halfway to Australia by now. I was just wondering if anyone had told you. Hunt has been in an accident. What? Accident probably isn't the right word. He was attacked. He's across the road now with a drain in his chest. Uh, what happened? You know as much as I do. Hi, this is Mrs. Sophie Mitchell. Get used to it, people. I can't talk right now, so do the message thing. Oh, hey, so it's me. Uh, um, yeah, look, I know you're probably still on the plane, and I'm sure somebody will have tried to call you by now, but I just heard about Hunter. Uh, I don't know the details, but I wanted to say I'm sorry. Um, that's it, really. I'm, I'm sorry. Call me if you want. Please.
You're here by yourself. Rachel's gone for coffee. Well, if you feel like something stronger, I'm going to be at the IV later. Thanks, but no. Um, I'm assuming Hunter's going to be OK? Yeah, he's lucky. All right. Where is he now? Ah, still in ED until we find a bed for him. Still fretting about Ben? Yeah. Right. I better go and see him. Mate. Yeah, you do that. Oh, by the way, hats off to Helga. First day on the job and her hit rate was 100%. Really? That good? Well, if I was a gambling man, I'll put money on her for tomorrow. <laughs> so we made some converts in the AD. Yeah, even Scotty. The, the freaky thing is, her projections were off by two until Ben and Hunter came through the door, of course. But she got the big tick from HDU. Good. But apparently, she's predicting one more admission for them. Well, let's hope she's wrong. Well, even if she's right, it doesn't mean Ben's surgery and badly. He'll probably go there from theatre anyway. They'll keep him sedated for a while, whichever way it goes. Do you like the shoe? 300 bucks. I read the price tag and walked away. Two days later, I was still thinking about it. So you went back and bought it. And I've had more compliments about this shirt than anything else I've ever worn. Well, it suits you. No, oh, I couldn't pull it off. They're not with my color. But the moral of the story is... Follow your instincts. I can't wait forever, mate. Yeah, well, there's a bit of a difference between a $300 shirt and a 50 grand steak in a racehorse. Last chance. Take a seat, I'll bring you a whiskey. Problem. Something wrong with the two? There's something wrong with your brain if you think I'm going to let you put your money onto a racehorse before I see any of it. Calm down. And trust me. You are incredible. Did you bother to wait until Sophie had left the country? Or was that what drove her away? <laughs> 